The Mini 3 Pro came with a key difference to previous DJI models. Not only did it not come with its own charger, it needs a specific type of charger in order to get the batteries charged up in around an hour. Use the wrong charger and it'll take two, three, four, even five hours to get charged. So whilst I'm here in sunny North Wales off-grid, quick video on how to keep this little beast charged up. Hello, I'm Ian and I play with drones and away with the van in sunny North Wales near the Snowdonia National Park and completely off grid. Now, a few of you have asked for a quick van tour, that's maybe a video for another day, but whilst I've got the camper van with its 155 watt solar on top and a 200 amp hour lithium battery with a 1000 watt inverter inside, I've got no shortage of power to keep uh, all of my tech gear charged up but that's not always the case is it you're not always uh, next to a big old van so today i thought i'd do a very quick video on how to keep the mini 3 and maybe your other tech charged up when you're off grid or haven't got access to mains power so i did say you need a specific type of charger or power bank in order to get the mini 3 charged up and obviously this has got usb-c but that's only half the story what you actually need is a charger that has got usb-c out uh, or to be more specific USB power delivery or PD. Now, if you, what I mean by that is if you've got a power bank with the old fashioned USB-A uh, outlets, it will not be up to the job because the type of charger you need needs to be able to pump out at least 30 watts of power along the charging cable and USB-A just can't handle that sort of power. So what can you do? Well, you can either buy the DJI uh, 30 watts charger and that will do the job very nicely. You can buy third party ones like this little Anker Nano one that I use. Again, you see, you notice it's just got the USB-C. This particular little unit will pump out 60 watts, so it's actually enough to charge most laptops as well. Um, I'll put links to all of this uh, below so that you can uh, keep up. But things like this obviously work if you've got mains power. If you haven't got mains power, then got too much stuff on the go here. This is the OmniCharge 20 Plus, probably the single most useful little bit of kit I carry when I'm out and about. I was using it down in Malta the other week, and not only has it got the standard USB A's, but it does have, crucially, the USB-C PD outlet. It will pump out over 60 watts, enough to power your uh, Mini 3 nice and uh, readily, even a laptop if, uh, if that's what's required. Um, small enough to go on an aircraft, it's just below the uh, legal limit for aircraft. And if you really feel the need, it's even got a 100 watt mains outlet, which um, I used occasionally for hair clippers and the like. You really want to be, don't want to be uh, trying to power much more on that, um, otherwise it will drain it pretty fast. But the point I'm trying to make is, this particular little unit is small enough to take in your day pack and will recharge your Mini 3 very fast uh, thanks to the PD uh, USB-C outlet here. So again, little link below, but the um, trouble with this sort of kit, of course, doesn't come cheap. Good kit costs money. This is no exception, 250 pounds. And if you want the bundle that comes with the uh, natty little uh, case, which, is very nice uh, and a wall charger and a couple more cables then you're looking at 299 pounds it's going to be around 300 dollars 300 euros um, that's the trouble with all tech good tech costs money but um, this i have used again and again and again and certainly as i said in malta charging drones screens phones in the car and what was really useful you can actually connect it to the 12 volt so it's charging up from the car whilst it is pumping out the power to uh, all of your kit so um, for me very, very good bit of kit indeed. But then finally, of course, if you're camping and completely off grid with no access to mains power whatsoever for a few days, you need something a little bit bigger. Not everyone's gonna have access to the van here. So another amazing bit of kit that I bring along, even when I've got the van, is this monster little bit of kit uh, from Bluetti. Let me just uh, pick it up and uncharge it. This is the EB70 from Bluetti. It's an absolutely incredible bit of kit. I've used Bluetti for a couple of years now. I had a smaller power station from them, heavy, 10 kilograms, 20 pounds. You're not gonna be taking that on a day pack. But what I love about this is that it comes with this incredible folding array of solar panels, 200 watts of uh, solar input there. That's more than what I've got going on up there on top of the roof. But of course, what really matters is how much power and what can it charge? Well, again, one of the reasons that I love 
this particular model, it's got two high power PD power delivery outlets, USB-C power delivery outlets, both of them up to 100 watts. You can literally be charging your laptop and the Mini 3 at the same time, or the uh, controller and the Mini 3 at the same time. It's got wireless charging for your phone on top, and it's actually got two proper mains power outlets that can produce up to a thousand watts of power, which is utterly bonkers for um, a portable battery, I think. Obviously, if you're in your Europe, you will get a European outlet, and if you're in the States, you get a US outlet. They're not that stupid. This is the way lithium technology and inverters are going now. And I think every man and his dog has seen an advert for portable power stations, probably on Instagram or Facebook over the last year or so, but they're not all equal. And I love Bluetti, I've used uh, the previous model. I had a smaller model, as I said, I used for uh, a good year. And this new model is, is just incredible for me. It's obviously different horses for different courses. Uh, this, again, good tech costs money, as does a good solar array. Um, solar array is 300 quid or so, and this combined unit costs around 1,200 pounds, which is ridiculous. But it's not much more than a drone. And the way I see it, when you're going camping, this sort of thing can keep your little fridge going, your little baby camping fridge, and all your tech topped up. So for me, it was absolutely worth it. So anyway, look, I love doing these little videos because it just explains what sort of tech I use and what works for me and what doesn't work for me. And the, these particular items I've shown you today are what do work for me and I find really, really useful. So look, um, all right, mate, you're a little bit bored, are you? So. Yes, indeed. Ted is absolutely loving the camping up here in North Wales, near the Snowdonia National Park, as I said. Um, I'm supposed to be on holiday. I do love doing these little videos, though. I'll put a link to everything that I've mentioned today uh, down below. Um, got any questions? Put them in the comments below. But um, anyway, look, lovely sunny day, which is quite rare for Wales. So a bit more flying with the Mini 3, as usual, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Stay safe and sane. Have fun. Happy flying.